Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to renew your Norton security with a new product key. Okay, let's quickly open up the web browser and I'm going to go to my Norton subscription account. So I'm logged into my Norton's account and my subscription is about to expire. And here it says renew for £20 a year and then automatically renew for £84.99. And I don't really want to do that, right? I don't want to be spending £85 a year every year after this first year expires. So I want to add a new key. This is the old key here. It's going to expire on the 16th for the 8th and today is the 11th for the 8th. So what I did is I went over to Amazon and I simply bought a new product license. So here it is, this one here. And it costs like 14 quid for five computers up to one year. So this product is actually cheaper than the 19 pounds and I simply repeat this process every year. I go to Amazon, I buy this, they deliver it and then I've got the product key within this document here. So let's go ahead and close down the web browser and we're going to go to the Norton's application here, right? So we load up Norton's and what's important is that you log into your account while you're in here. So I'm going to go to sign in, click up here on your little picture icon here. And then I'm going to click continue. So that's my email address. I'm going to click continue. And then I need to put in my password here. I'm going to put in my password and click sign in. So there's a couple of ways to actually update Norton's uh, subscription. The first way is to go to um, device security and click open. And then when you go into there, click on help. And inside the help, it says enter product key here. So that's one way to do it. You can just click here and then it's going to ask you, it's going to connect to your account and it's going to ask you for the product key here. Let's close this. I'll just show you a quick other way to do it as well. If you logged into your Norton's account, you can also click on your little icon up here and you can go to subscription status. When you click on there, it will communicate with the server and it will show you your current subscription status. So it says that it's going to expire on the 16th of August and today is the 11th. So it's going to be about five days away. And you can see product view details here. You can click renew, but don't click that button. You want to click enter a key here at the bottom here. So there's two ways you can enter the key. So let's click enter key here. And I can type in the key uh, directly into here. And I can click next and renew it. Okay, so you can see I've put in the key right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click the next button. And then it should communicate. It says before you start using your Norton subscription, this will, with this new key, we'll need, to, uh, need some additional information to register it. Please enroll uh, here, Norton Setup. So let's see what this says. So it's asking me for the product key here as well, directly on the website. So let's go ahead and put that same product key in here as well. Okay, so I've entered the product key here again. I'm going to click the next button to see what happens. It says it's just asking us to agree to the license, so we'll agree. And now it's asking me for my auto renewal subscription. So um, really, I don't want to do this. So let's just see. Let's just minimize this. In fact, let's go to our Norton's account and refresh it. And let's see if we can see the new license in here. So we don't see the new license in here. Let's just go back to Norton's. Uh, let's try and click next. Let's see if it will accept it. So it's, it's forcing us to put in... Um, some subscription information which is a bit cheeky but what we can do is use PayPal so at this point it's asking us for annual subscription renewal authorization but if we set it to PayPal and then just cancel it afterwards we can log into our PayPal account and then we can cancel the auto renew so it's a bit cheeky um, they're kind of asking us to renew uh, the license uh, automatically but don't use credit card, use PayPal, and you can just log into your, look, you don't, it doesn't even ask you for any other information, right? It doesn't ask you for your name and all this other stuff. If we just select PayPal in here, then we can go ahead and say, I've read the terms and conditions, um, and then I acknowledge, and I read this, blah, 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 and we can see, click start subscription. So it's gonna ask me to log into my PayPal account. Now, this is all very long, but, um, what we'll do is uh, cancel the subscription afterwards, the auto renew, yeah? So it's make, we have to make sure we cancel the auto renew. Um, so I'm just gonna log into uh, PayPal. Let's just log into PayPal quickly. And then PayPal is gonna ask for authorization to auto renew, but I'm pretty sure we can go back into Norton's and cancel the auto renew. 
Uh, so we just say from my bank account, this should be fine. And then it's going to say Norton's LifeLock subscription. I'm going to say agree and pay. So it says Norton 360 cannot be installed on your operating system. However, it can be installed on the following operating systems, Windows, Mac. and So that's just a lot of nonsense really, isn't it? Because I'm on Windows, so it doesn't make much sense. So let's just see. Um, subscription active. Let's just go to renewal settings. Let's see what happens in here. So... This is the new um, subscription. This is the old one, right? That's going to expire on the 16th for the 8th. And this is the new one that's going to continue from the 12th for the 8th, 2023. So this is actually um, confirmed now, right? But you can see, look, cancel subscription renewal. So we want to click this. But before we do that, let's just go back to Norton's. Let's just click the uh, back button here. And let's just try and get uh, back to the main screen. Let's see. Uh, Let's just close down Norton's for a second. I just want to load it back up, just refresh it. Let's just make sure that we see uh, the subscription is until 2023. So if we reboot it, it says set six days remaining, renew, right? So we must have to tell it to use this particular license key. So let's see. Okay, so let's just go ahead and reopen Norton's and let's see if we can get that product key, this one here, to work in Norton's. So let's go ahead and uh, let's try it this way. Let's go to open and then, in fact, let's go to device manager. We'll click here, uh, open here. And then we'll go to help. Let's see if we can enter the key here. So it's asking us for the product key. So I'm just gonna type in the product key here. So I've entered the product key here. I'm gonna go ahead and click next. And let's see if it'll accept that product key. So I don't wanna install it another device. I'm gonna click the skip button. And then if we close this, um, let's see. So if we go back to subscription status, Let's see if it shows that we got until 2023. Hopefully it will show 2023. Here it is, August the 12th, 2023, right? So that's it, it's all done. The only thing I need to do is close down Norton's. Let's just close it all down. And then I need to cancel the subscription here. Click cancel subscription renewal. Uh, so it's asking me to sign in. So I'm gonna sign back into my account. Let's see if we can cancel this, cancel subscription. So uh, click cancel now to stop subscription from automatically renewing. So let's just click cancel now. We're sorry to see you go. Your subscription renew is canceled and your subscription will end on the 12th of the 8th, 2023, right? 12th of the 8th, 2023, let's close this. So now we can see that it's not going to auto renew. Right, activate subscription renewal. So now, next year, before this is going to expire, I'll go and buy another license from uh, Amazon and I'll repeat that process. I know it's painful, I know it's long, but it's better than paying like 85 pounds a year for your renewals, right? So we managed to do that. It's a bit of a pain, but you know, I'm pretty sure Norton's ain't gonna make it an easy toss. I'm gonna try and make it as difficult as possible so that you renew for 85 pounds a year which seems to be a very expensive renewal fee. Okay, let's go ahead and minimize this. We'll just double check inside Norton's um, that everything looks fine. So everything is set up here. It all looks good. Subscription ends in 366 days. It's 366 days remaining, right? So we're good to go. So that's how you go about uh, renewing your Norton's security with a new product key. 
I know this tutorial is a bit long, but um, sometimes that's how they have to be in order to do things correctly, right? So remember, if it asks you for uh, subscription details, then try and use PayPal. You can use your credit card and put all your credit card details in there, but I tend to not like to do that. I'll just use PayPal and then I can just activate the renewal and cancel it afterwards inside of the Norton's login screen like we've just done. Okay, that's the end of this tutorial. I hope you find it useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.